you won't drive and you'll be happy here on the report from Tiger Mountain we're going to talk about the price of petrol and the cost of living stick around and listen Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you will not be able to drive and you'll be happy. You'll notice the great reset has begun here in Australia with the price of petrol recently. I'm sure if you own a car, you've gone to the local uh, petrol station and you've gotten out the nozzle and you've stuck it in your car and you've had a quick look to see what the price of petrol is today and your eyes have popped out of your head or you've had a heart attack, nearly had a heart attack. It's like $2.20 or something and going up, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. I think just before COVID, we are getting prices of almost half that, you know what I mean? If you you're lucky you can find maybe a dollar ten a dollar twenty so it's absolutely extraordinary what's going on how the hell have petrol prices gone up uh nearly doubled in the past year or two first of all let's get this straight it's got nothing to do with the war in ukraine it's got nothing to do with president putin we don't get our oil supplies from russia i mean there might be a small uh russian uh, element to our uh you know uh, energy acquisition but it's hardly anything in australia let's face it this is uh price gouging um by big oil and um uh, by um um, obviously Arab countries who are the main uh, suppliers of oil to the world. Um, this is all again um, part of the globalist agenda of making life um, kind of unaffordable for the average person because you know we all know the famous Klaus Schwab line you know you will own nothing and you'll be happy it's because you'll be so broke you, you will not be able to own a house anymore you'll not be able to afford meat I mean you know, there are these things at the moment the globalists encouraging you to eat bugs or eat lentils or go vegan you know so they, they really want to destroy the standard of living of people in Western civilizations and this should it should be remembered this is the agenda of the Great Reset, it's the agenda of net zero, it's the agenda of COVID, it's all, I mean, this is actually the real agenda to impoverish people. I mean, you know, and essentially the agendas themselves are kind of overhyped lies. Um, you know, I mean, obviously COVID was an overhyped lie, climate change is clearly an overhyped lie. It doesn't mean that there's not some kernel of truth in them, but these situations should have just been handled much differently. And by raising the price of everything is not the way to deal with it or to destroy the economy who locking people in their own homes with COVID is certainly not the way to have dealt with this health crisis that we've lived through the last two years. So again, it's absolutely extraordinary and uh, it's very much part of the, uh, you know, the Great Reset, the New World Order, this um, raising of petrol, the rumours it could hit up to $3, $3, you know, I mean, I own a car, costs like $200 to keep it on the road at the moment, you know, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. This is all about screwing the average person. I've done a video here at the report from Tiger Mountain, screwing the little guy, turning up the heat on the frog that's in the uh, in the pot, slowly killing him. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is a war of the elites and, uh, because they own our governments, our own governments uh, against the people. So, you know, we need a people's revolution. That's why the importance of the freedom movement um, that we see has grown, obviously under COVID, but it should continue to grow because the elites uh, who often have completely corrupted our governments are at direct war with the uh, people of their nations. And you can see that by the rising of prices. I mean, that's the other ridiculous thing. I mean, almost half the cost of petrol is tax is, is a government tax. So if they wanted to bring down the cost of petrol, they could drop the tax and go back to a dollar uh, overnight. But so, you know, I mean, this is extraordinary. It's an extraordinary scam. And it absolutely has nothing to do with President Putin and the war in Ukraine. That's just an excuse. They're using yet another lie um, that they are foisting upon the good people of Australia to um, you know, lie to them and the good people of the world, really, because they're spreading this lie, you know, all over. And it also, I mean, if you were to blame this current um, petrol rise situation on one uh, international political figure, it's Joe Biden. I mean, what a fool he was uh, in America, shutting down that uh, energy pipeline that was bringing in oil, um, you know, the Donald Trump set up. I mean, and then, and now, and people are putting stickers, you know, on, on the petrol bazaar. I did this because if anyone is to blame globally for what's going on, it is that idiot Joe Biden, who obviously doesn't run America, as we all know, because he has dementia. It's, you know, people like Blinken, uh, Ron Klain, um, Yellen, and all these uh, creeps, globalist creeps who are in his government. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You will, uh, you know, not be able to drive anywhere and you'll be happy because Klaus Schwab says so. And that's the only thing you can be. There it is. Report from Tiger Mountain.